in the studio is joining us this morning. Uh, we have Andrew Farris and uh, the new boy on the block uh, from NXS, Kieran Gribben. Have I, yeah. I pronounced all that correctly, Kieran? You have, yes. Well, you're an Irishman at heart, so you should know how to I was gonna say. Kieran. Well, I was going to say, I mean, uh, Sean Murphy would be a fairly foreign name in Ireland, wouldn't it? You wouldn't yeah, see no, there, ain't, there ain't too many Murphys in Ireland. <laughs> and I've, I've never heard the word Sean before. I've never heard that name. <laughs> Welcome to Australia and welcome to NXS, Kieran. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. It's been a, a wonderful journey these last four months. Of, uh, you know, I, I still pinch myself regularly. Uh, you know, I'm the singer in this wonderful, great, iconic Aussie band, a band who I grew up loving, and it's just like to be to walk out on stage as the singer is just a dream come true. But to be writing songs with this fine gentleman beside me is is something else. I'm a I've, I've I've written songs all my life, and I grew up list, loving this these songs that NXS uh, have done for years. And well, let's let's put you on the spot here. What is your favourite NXS song? Um, probably if I, my arm is twisted, I'd have to say "Never Tear Us Apart." Okay. I think "Never Tear Us Apart" is not just one of NXS's greatest songs. I think it is an all-time classic, and a hundred years from now, the pop stars and rock stars will be doing covers of that song. I think it's just if Elvis had done it, it would have been a hit. If, uh, you know, you can hear any yep. great singer sing that song. It's just a genius song. Here's another question for you on the spot. Uh, which member of NXS do you think has aged the most gracefully? Aged the most gracefully? <laughs> oh, now you're talking. I would say... Hang on. Not, probably, me, not me. Probably... Yeah, no, no. I'd say... Uh, Tim, probably. Yeah? Yeah. They all look really good, though. They all look... You know, they all keep take care of themselves and and look pretty good. Obviously not as good looking as the Irish guy, but you know, they're still quite good looking guys, you know? Yeah, we oil our wheelchairs regularly. <laughs> <laughs> so Andrew, um, yeah. you, obviously Kieran's had a chance to talk about uh, you and the band and you know, loving the band when he was growing up. He's been with the band, what, four months now? Yeah, it, it seems like uh, just a snap, really. Uh, but uh, we've been, yeah, we've been, we've been, been on three continents in yeah, four months. That's well, Andrew let's, let's and I have a very guys. special connection, you know, and, I've, I've co-written with a lot of uh, songwriters over the years and some big names and I've worked with a lot of stars and you know songwriting is all about um, about chemistry and, and Andrew and I met two years ago at a party where we were sort of you know the guitar was passed around and people were singing songs there was loads of musicians there and, and someone said sing an NXS song and we, we, we sang Mystify he played guitar and I sang and from that moment, there was something happened, and that was two years ago. And, yeah. and I went off doing my thing. I was involved in soundtracks for movies and writing for stars and my my own solo career. And about seven months ago, eight months ago, Andrew phoned and said, "Do you fancy doing a bit of writing?" And, and I flew down to Australia. And Did he use the words "Do you fancy"? Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Is that true, Andrew? Do you, do you ever use the word <laughs> fancy? Uh, I do now. <laughs> no, but I mean... He is. Well, you know, I do fancy Andrew a lot. You know? I'm a married man with a kid, but Andrew is such an attractive man, it's hard not to fancy him, really. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I think, you know, the two of us, I think this is, this is where the wonderful thing of all of this happened, is the fact that the two of us can connect on on a, a musical level and on a personal level. We're good buddies and and uh, we, we socialise together, we're... We're living close by, and we work every day on on songs in Andrew's studio, and, and and that has that has come into the band then as well. And it's it, although we've only been together four months, it feel it feels a lot longer. We've we've gigged in Peru, Argentina, all yeah. over Europe in that time, and 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 we had such a wonderful run of Australian gigs up until now. And you know, recently Manum, which was just a few days ago, which was probably honestly my favourite gig that I've done with NXS so far. It was just like. You know the people were so up for it, considering they'd just been soaked by a oh, storm, yeah, yeah. and uh, and it just was one of those nights where everything seemed to go well. I was relaxed, and and you know it's just wonderful to be standing in front of this iconic band. I just I'm loving every second of it. Andrew, do you think you, to yourself, you know, th these are songs that uh, you've lived with and you know breathed and, and given life to for what, over 30 years now. You know them back to front. Do you think mm. someone who's coming into the band, and someone so young, uh, has to get to know the entire back catalogue? Do you think oh, that, that, that's an enormous feat? Oh, I, I couldn't agree more. I, mean, I think I think Kieran's done an extraordinary job, really, with you know, with making not only the songs sound authentic to how they were written, but he brings his own character into the song, and he's, he's an amazing singer. Um, and the delivery, the, you know, the audience has been absolutely loving it where we've been playing all around the world, you know, so uh, we're blessed. You know, it's a really, really lucky situation. 
for all of us. And I think also for Kieran as a songwriter, you know, he had his very much his own career and as a songwriter and a, as a solo performer in Ireland uh, before we met. And so for us to sort of join forces, if you like, it's really great because I, I think the audience picks up on that too. I think I think they love it. Are you doing some new stuff? Yeah, you know, I think that's that's a, there's two elements to this this job that I've taken on, and I'm. The, the the new music is where, where we really want to uh, to push into new boundaries and I think you know it's wonderful to stand on stage and pay tribute to Michael and, and I'll never be able to fill those shoes but you know I don't think anyone could walk onto stage and fill Michael's shoes but I think it's important to pay tribute to Michael every night and, and the legacy they left behind and the way he delivered those songs on the record and on stage and and you know the audience is loving the fact that I'm uh, I'm talking about Michael and you know how can you how can you not talk about the guy he was such a charismatic man and, and as a rock star he doesn't come much better you know and, and do you, do you do you remember um, where you were uh, when Michael's death obviously came over on the radio do you remember what you were yeah, doing yeah I was actually I was studying music at the time and a guy that was in the band with me. Uh, said if you heard the news and I, I couldn't believe it because I, I, honest to God I grew up with this band I remember being 10, 11 hearing In Excess for the first time it was probably around the Listen Like These era yep. and Kick was such a massive album in Ireland and the UK and, and you know songs th those songs off Kick were you know I, I remember sitting down trying to trying to learn a uh, new sensation on the guitar and trying okay. to learn you know, need you tonight that riff. And, yep. You know, and never in my wildest dreams that I dream that you know, 25 years later, or 20 years later, whatever it is, that I'd be writing songs with the guy who wrote these classics and and walking out on stage with this band, with this wonderful band. And but you know, Michael, Michael, without a doubt, I have no doubt he influenced me at that age. I was just like a sponge soaking yeah, in yeah. all the influences, and, and I have no doubt he influenced me as a singer and, and as a songwriter. You know, he was he was. He was just such that sort of mystic, mystical, mysterious sort of character that, you know, it's different for these guys because Andrew and all the guys grew up with him from a young age and he was just their brother, he was like a brother to them, but to me he was just on the pedestal, he yeah. was the ultimate rock star, you know, and, you know, as a young kid in Ireland I was, I was blown away by him and, and, you know, it's, it's, it's sad and everyone's sad, but, you know, unfortunately he's not here and I, I just hope that he, he can, you know he's up in heaven, smiling down on me, and 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 he can see that at least we're we're going forward yep. with new material, and we're paying paying respect to that era that he left and with the band. And, but it, m more importantly, you now I think the new music is is so important for yeah. for, for us, and we're so excited about the next. Yeah, you know, we've so, written so, so much material. Yeah. So, so what's the plan? Yeah, you've you've written some stuff. What's next? Well, I mean, yeah, it's. Uh, the plan as such is sort of not to have a plan, actually. <laughs> Every, everyone keeps saying, when's the album coming out? We're like, well, well I don't know. Uh, yeah. the, the whole thing is is that uh, it, we, ha, how we met was actually socially. Yep. Um, and I realised then, when I met Kieran, heard him singing, and there was other people playing and singing uh, instruments that night when we'd, we'd met. I thought, oh, this is great. And then we, we stayed in contact as friends, and we talked about writing songs together. Well, so that, if you like, is the plan. Yep. Is that the plan is, is we just keep writing new music as Karen's yeah. been saying, and hopefully people will like it. Yeah, yeah there's going to be the there's going to be new music very very soon. Uh, in fact, in Manum the other night, uh, the audience were the first audience we recorded a part of the next single. We were, got them to chant, uh, shout uh, a chant that's going to be used in the next single. And, oh wow! And that's going to be out very very soon, probably over the next month. So and you, they we're going to you know. I think music and, and releasing music for a lot of acts nowadays has changed so dramatically. You know, the, the album as a you know, as a release, uh, you know, a thing for bands to release is almost a thing that is not totally necessarily what you need to do yeah. automatically. I think you know, there's nothing wrong with NXS putting out single after single for a while, putting out an EP, maybe yeah. get involved, in this, you know, maybe in, in in movies or anything like that. And, you know, I've I have a background in working on movie soundtracks, and I can't see what the problem would be of NXS doing something in movies. And, yeah. and, and and that's exciting for us all. You know, a band of this stature can do whatever they want, really. You know, they, they've nothing to prove to anyone. And, and, it's it's wonderful to see that after you know almost 35 years that these guys are still as hungry as ever to do new music and and new things and and still get up on that stage and rock out with the best bands in the world. So you know, sort of evolves, different lead singer. Have you thought of changing the name of the band to Kieran Excess? 
<laughs> they actually, you know what they call me? They call me Gribbo. Gribbo. Yeah, yeah, Gribbo. I can do the Aussie accent. Gribbo. Gribbo, mate. <laughs> now we, we actually, before we go, I just got a couple of Facebook questions here for you. Uh, so you know, obviously you know, social media. Uh, this basically gives me an excuse to ask any question I'd be too scared to ask normally. So uh, no, actually, they're all pretty tame. Julianne Watkins says, ask them if they come to dinner at my place when they're back for Clipsal. That's fair. That sounds it? good to me. <laughs> we hardly even know her. It <laughs> well, doesn't just... matter. <laughs> we'll be there. Yeah, um... Now, of course, you are playing at Clipsal Saturday, March 3rd. Ticketek 132849. Uh, Ticketek.com.au off the top of my head. Yes. Now, without oh. looking at this piece of paper. And two, uh, two more Leslie Cicillano wants to know, um, can you ask Ribbo what is Gribbo? Yeah. Oh, hello. I know Leslie. She's on Facebook. Ask Ribbo what his favourite beer is. Well, believe it or not, Leslie, I don't drink. Oh, don't you? No, I'm wow. the only Irish man in history that doesn't drink. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, look, a question I want to ask you, and um, I, I ask you this really nervously. Uh, sorry, you guys might have an idea. Yeah. I've sort of been yeah. in different studios. We know, we know useless <laughs> pieces of information like yeah. that. And a couple, a couple other questions. Uh, Beyonce has had a new uh, baby. Uh, baby's called Blue. What do you think of that name? Is it a good name? Is that what she called the kid? Yeah, Blue Ivy. So, hot or not, that name, what do you think? Uh, look, I, you know, I think that it's relative to whatever, you know, love they feel for their child. And oh, that's the beautiful. Child and Baby Blue. Yeah, Baby Blue. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. I reckon, I reckon it's, yeah, it's better than Apple. What's your second name going to be then? So, it's Blue Ivy Carter, I think. Carter, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Blue Ivy Carter. Yeah. Well, that's cool. It's a bit of rock and roll in there. And final question, uh, getting really heavy here. Um, well, first of all, for you, Kieran, are you a cat person? Oh, no. No? Cats, dog. cats or dogs? Dog, dog every time. Andrew? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Kangaroos. <laughs> just, just imagine Andrew going, I've been in this business for 30 years and you're asking me if I'm a cat person. Uh, well, um, actually, I, I tend to, I tend to, I hesitated only because uh, I have also been involved in agriculture, you know, and, and occasionally we have animals who, you know, that don't have, you know, their parents anymore, you know, their mother or father. Yeah. And so we surrogate, you know, oh, raise wow. animals, you know, different breeds. And that's why I hesitated because I was thinking, oh, what, how many different animals? <laughs> and in fact, um, it was the other day a friend of mine uh, from America had said, um, saw a, a sign of a wombat by the side of the road. Yeah. And she said, I didn't know you had sloths in Australia. You don't have sloths. That's a wombat. <laughs> yeah. Sloths. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Hey guys, good luck uh, with the next generation of NXS. It's just uh, it's a never-ending story and there's a lot of people around this country who are very happy about it. And we're really glad that you came in this morning. Andrew and, and Kieran, welcome to Australia and Adelaide and welcome Thank to NXS. You. It's a pleasure. Yeah. So really thanks for having us, Sean.